hi welcome back to my channel now i want to share with you how i worked on other language docs using google translator i install google translator extension if you want to install it then look just look it in here this is the translation i installed right google translate if you want to install then simply go to extension right and this is the translator name i think you know this is well google translate search or simply search it on google translate extension then just install it right so with the help of the translator you can simply work on any other language tags i guarantee you right so simply look how do i do this but before we start working i simply want to told you i think you watched many videos but you are not satisfied right so just look just look the tags you can work any of the tags but i just want to show you this one because if i want to told in other tags then this video is too longer so just look it in this taxes you just go to the training mode so this is the instructions i don't want to do it with the instructions simply treat the instructions right but i want to told you the process how you can work on any other language tax with the help of google translator there are lots of process available but this is the easiest way that's why i am sharing with you right so just look the tax is available in german language if you want to work on the tax then simply add the german language then qualify the german language text then the tax is available to your dashboard right so look it in here what to do in this tax first look this is a text and this is your code right and your tax is to validate is the code valid or not right so the challenge begin here you don't know the language if you know the language then this is okay but if you unknown then just look how to do simply select the text right and then right click in here and you will found google translate just click here automatically translate you the text so this is the english text right already with the code d okay so this is the correct code right then if you translate this portion so then you will found just look it in here i'm translating this okay so this means is the given voucher code valid fine this one is valid then you must put yes if this one is not valid then put no and if there is not verified or verification error or you are not able to verify then simply put the third option but how you know the buttons text meaning right because look this is not possible to translate right no you are wrong this is possible to translate and it's possible to translate with the help of rules this trick so your task is to simply drag from the start and just drag till the end right then translate this way it's also save your time okay now look magic happened so in here the text end right this is the interrogation mark right then look at it here. this means first option means yes j a mean yes nay means no right and this button text means cannot be verified right and look what is the, this text means this text means mention any other valid coupon codes comma separated in the text that means if you found any other valid coupon code in here then you must put that code in here with the help of comma right so this is the tax i think you got it but sometimes you told me that this is not possible to translate this way. this is possible to translate but you must select till the end just try it and let me know if this is working or not this is 100 percent workable right and i want to told one thing also if some some 
I think in any error somewhere you are not able to do this if you are not able to do this that means you are not selecting the correct way right so that time what to do is simply click the button right then at last you found inspect so go to inspect and look in here just look if you can change the face or position like so simply click three dot then you can do edit html or you can simply click double click in here right it look right click then go to inspect now you must found the word ja click in here this is the ja right simply copy it and translate it with the help of google right this is possible to translate i think you are not getting my text right so look it in here practically so i i don't know the i mean the, this button value so and i want to know the meaning right so i simply right clicking in here then i'm going to inspect okay then look it in here here are the values so simply double click in here just look this is selected right then right click in here control c then simply paste it in here okay so look it in here this means cannot be verified right this is 100 percent workable right so simply close this okay got it now just start the tux this is yes and for this just simply copy this and translate and look what it means right so is there any the coupon code available just look it in here in here no coupon code okay this is the coupon code right so this this is no and here is the coupon code so simply copy the code and paste it in here this is done now look for the next text so i am just copying these portions right so simply translate this because i know the few other things look in here i found that there are two promo codes right one is christmas and another one is new year right so in here christmas is available so this one is correct and you found that in instructions that there are another code available then you must put the value in here comma separate right so new year is also a valid coupon code that's why i am putting it in here okay then here is the next text and translating and look what is in here so just look this is the voucher code right then uh, i like this so this is the valid one so simply do yes fine then this is the next one right so simply translate it and look cell 20 is the code so this is correct do this one just copy and translate and select and translate right so in here no coupon code available so simply do no right then this is the last text just translate this one look it in here in here also no valid code available so simply do no right i think i'm done with the interface so simply i want to submit okay if i made any mistake or i don't made any mistake that's why i found this okay so i think if you apply these tricks then you can work on any other language tax without failing though this is not granted you will fail or pass because it depend on your skill right anyhow if this trick helps then simply share it with your friends wish you good luck and happy duck skiing